Yes, I'm here in the studio, actually. Seeing as we were having an hour off for me to chat to you guys, I made him start at six o'clock this morning, so I'm not that popular today. So we've obviously we've got to beg the whichever the Strictly Pro is you're with to creep out from behind the camera, and I guess he's not going to. No, I've locked him in a cupboard in the corner so that he doesn't accidentally show his face in the mirror as well. Don't worry, we're safe. Are you happy with the pairing? Absolutely thrilled. It's exactly who I wanted. Fantastic. Now, All I know I'm you... giving you. OK, that's fine. You, you live in Teesside. Are you going to train in Teesside and come down to London? How's it going to work? Yes, that's where I am at the moment, actually. I'm up in a, a little dance studio. It's actually one of the oldest dance studios in the country that we're in. And uh, we're training up north here so that I can be with the family and work on the business through the week and then uh, down to London on a Friday morning for rehearsals. Brilliant. Now, your business is Crafter's Companion, and it's what, what turned you mm -hmm. at, at uh, the, the youngest age for a dragon into one of the, the panellists on Dragon's Den. So you've now got a whole load of strings to your bow, haven't you? Indeed, I guess uh, entrepreneur, investor, mom, now a dancer as well. So uh, <laughs> yes, a little bit of everything. And dra and dragon too, yeah. So well, later on, we'll talk about the, our favourite on-screen dragon. But on the dancing thing, have you danced before? Uh, oh yes, yes, uh, loads. But about thirty years ago, when I was seven year old, Jeremy. And let me just tell you, the last couple of days have been a shock to the system because not only do I not remember any of it, but it is nothing like what ballet classes were when I was seven. Oh, you've done a bit of ballet. That might come in useful. So, so do you? Do you have you got your first dance yet? Are you practicing that? Yes, we're practicing the first one. He's been cracking the whip. We spent the first day learning steps and then the second day learning technique. And I turned up on the start of the second day, not having remembered any of the steps that I learned on the first day. <laughs> and then needless to say, didn't sleep a wink last night because all I was doing was thinking through the steps. Oh, yes, I've been there. Now, we've got, listen, we've got some history with your, your dad, I think, because your dad danced. So we have, I believe we have a picture oh. there. Oh. Is that, that's your dad there? <laughs> wow, back in the oh, day. I know, bless him. Do you know, obviously it was long before uh, before I came along and, and I, I knew, because this is why he wanted me and my sister to take classes when we were younger, you see, but clearly we mustn't have been very good because we never continued with the classes. And uh, I, so I just said to him, you know, when, they, when I was thinking about, when they'd asked me about Strictly, obviously couldn't tell him that they'd asked me. And I said, Dad, why, why did you get into dancing then? Because you, you don't hear, you know, a lot of little girls go to dance classes, but not younger boys. And he just quite honestly said to me, I thought it would be a great way to pick up girls. So, <laughs> <laughs> so your, your husband is Simon and your, your young boys are Oliver and Charlie and they're six and three. I'm thinking for Charlie, it's a, probably a bit too early to, to understand the, the greatness of Strictly. But my goodness, they're going to be watching every week. Oh, they're so excited. And, you know, they were kind of resenting it a little bit that it was just something else that was taking Mammy away from home for a few days. Um, but the last couple of days, while we've been training during the day, I've been bringing my dance partner home with me on a night to make sure he gets a proper meal um, and also so that he can meet the family. And the kids are absolutely besotted with him. So now, of course, Strictly is the coolest thing in the world because mummy has got this new friend dance partner who will play football in the garden and, play, and, you know, read them stories before bed. And we've just had an amazing couple of days, both both in the training room and then at home on an evening. I'm trying to work out who it is now. I've got me guessing. Somebody that would play football, read stories. Not Anton. Definitely a him, not Anton. No, because no, he's got another job. Mm. Ooh. I, I'm really, I'm not sure. Do you do that thing where you try I'm and connect the dots guys. before the no, show? No, no, I know you're not. Hey, one more question. I don't know the answer, but wh whether they're having the audience back in, because you, you've got to get your family into the studio, but are they allowing that? Yes, so we're allowed two people from our bubble. So um, my mum and dad are coming to the launch show uh, and they're also going to come week one. So there they are. And I'm kind of hoping they'll look as proud. That was the day I got my MBE, actually. Oh. I'm kind of ho hoping they'll look as proud on Saturday as what they did that day. Fantastic. OK, well, listen.